Anyone living or working along the Ohio River knows how unpredictable it can be during flood season. And right now, people are taking action to stay safe. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with the impact from Ludlow all the way to Coney Island. Tom. Well, if you're familiar with the serpentine wall, you know that it takes usually 20 steps to get down from the top level here of the concrete down to the river. Tonight, there's only one, and as you can see, it's disappearing very, very fast. Now, this is just one of the areas that's been impacted by this fast rising water, and that means people up and down the banks are keeping a very watchful eye out tonight. On a normal Friday night, the Ludlow Knights of Columbus Hall would be filled with people enjoying a fish fry, but not tonight. The Ohio River took over our building. The same thing happened last week, and since the water receded, Wayne Brown thought things would be back to normal. Cleaned up, the water was out, all out, and it was all cleaned up, ready to move back in, and the river came up again. The Ohio is like that, rising and falling at Mother Nature's whim. Flood stage is 52 feet, but the expected crest is now 56.5 feet. The river has topped the island guarding the entrance to Manhattan Harbor in Dayton. Boat owners like Bobby Dillingham have been stopping by to gaze at the water's height and to double check their investment. I'm just checking for water, make sure the ropes are tied up tight still and uh, everything's floating good and the debris not getting around the boat too bad. The flood's impact is evident at Riverbend Music Center and at Coney Island, where Sunlight Pool is nowhere to be seen. Road Avenue in California was passable last week, but not today. Water barely touched this house then, but it's surrounded now. This is where the Ohio River Launch Club was in the East End until waters tore it from its mooring. Fred White has endured numerous floods at his Setchell Street house, but he doesn't plan to leave. My wife was born and raised on the same street we live on since 63. The street isn't flooding yet, but it's just a matter of numbers when he'd have to find a safer haven. If the river gets 60 feet, we'll have to go, but as it looks right now, we'll be fine. Just water in the basement. Just water in the basement. I think we're going to see a lot of that over the next several days. Of course, the most recent floods in Cincinnati were 2011. The river topped out at 55 feet each of those years. 1997 was the biggest one in recent memory, and that topped out at 64 feet. Coming up new at 6, what those numbers mean to the people of New Richmond who've seen a lot of floods in their 200-year history. Tom McKean, not on your side, live at the public landing downtown.